welcome back to my channel wins life here for today's video i am going to make some chicken and dumplings i'm craving for some chicken and dumplings this morning and so we will make it happen so guys when i'm hungry i always crave for something i want to make and so I'm happy guys that I can cook because when I crave for something um, I can make it myself so I don't need to go out because every time I go out to a restaurant when I'm craving for something it always a fail a failure a failure a fail because I have that specific taste or can you say taste specific specific uh, taste yeah I guess that's what it is <laughs> so comment down below how you say it a specific flavor taste that I want so chicken and dumpling it is for dinner and I boil this chicken breast and I of course and I of course and of course I use the skin also I'm not a health conscious <laughs> I'm looking at Chris over there <laughs> I think every time he hear me vlogging he, he wants to come out <laughs> and be extra he likes to interrupt me when I'm <laughs> vlogging. <laughs> I think he wants to just be extra. <laughs> but then he don't want to be in the camera. <laughs> He's staring at me so mean. <laughs> anyway guys, let me wash my hand really quick. See? Told you that's him. <laughs> door open anyways for our ingredients guys of course we have the biscuit that I just make it like to a bowl <laughs> they cannot see you <laughs> he's going to the pantry so I just made it like, you know, small ball like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because when we put it uh, to our broth, it's gonna be this form. This form? How do you say that? The, 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 the form. <laughs> this form. <laughs> I know that. The form. So it's not gonna be perfect bowl anyway so but yeah so biscuit chicken that I boil for for this one guys you know how I always said I like thighs I like using thighs and for this one I like using chicken breast because it's easier to flake it or or yeah flake that's what you call it flake and then this is the chicken broth from boiling the chicken. I'm going to use probably four or five cups. And then we have whipping cream, three tablespoons of flour, butter, butter, and for garnish we have Parmesan cheese and parsley and then for my um, uh, what do you call this uh, seasoning salt and pepper I did add uh, salt and pepper on this one and the chicken powder uh, bouillon but I'm going to add a little bit more to the chicken when I'm sauteing it because I did not put enough uh, salt because I don't want it to be salty and then I'm also adding a little bit of turmeric and cumin 
just to add different flavor to our um, chicken and dumplings and the turmeric is also going to add color to it so it's not just black white black white so it's not just white color so let us start making our roux which is flour i forgot the name flour and the be, uh, bed bed butter <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you guys, when I make mistake on my video, I don't remove it. I don't edit it. Because, tao lang po, nagkakamali. But I like my mistakes sometimes. Butter and flour. And the uh, heavy cream. Come over here. I will move you guys on this side now. Maybe I need to have two cameras sometimes so I can show from that other camera what I'm doing when I move my camera. My other camera. Do you understand what I'm saying? But anyway, when I move my camera from that side to this side, I have another camera facing me there. So you know what I'm doing. That. So we'll put the butter. And the pan is too hot. You don't want very, very hot. Then we will put our flour. Mix it really fast. Then I'll add the heavy cream. Oh, it's a good thing I have enough. We'll wait for that flour to thicken. Then now we are going to add our uh, broth. Another two cups and one and a half. So five and a half cups. Then I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I'll add a little bit more of chicken powder bouillon because I taste it and it needed more. And then a little bit of turmeric. Just a little bit. Just to make it yellow. And then cumin. Probably a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of cumin. And I'm going to taste it. Just a little bit more of salt. Now I'm going to add the chicken. We'll boil this for a few minutes and then I'm going to put the biscuit for the dumpling. Very easy. Easy and delicious. And it is now boiling so we'll put our dumplings and this one is gonna expand guys. So you know when it's cooked because the um, biscuit is going to float. Float. See how you can see it's starting to float? And they are floating one by one. See? And it is going to be a lot bigger than that. But when it gets cooler it's gonna go down go back down again the size that's why i cut it in small pieces like that and we're just gonna wait until the biscuit or the dumpling is fully cooked and here's our chicken and dumplings Smells so wonderful. 
I'm always excited when it's when it's tasting time because I'm always hungry every time I, I got done cooking and I think I want to add this kind of cheese also this is the Mexican style blend of cheddar Monterey Jack Asadero I never heard of that one quesadilla and uh, Parmesan we'll put the Mexican style first and of course I'm gonna put some more cheese on my bowl cheese and butter and then our Parmesan Parmesan no Reggiano and then our parsley And we are going to scoop some to put it on our bowl to taste. To taste, I shouldn't say to taste because it's dinner time. Put some chicken there too. And then the, the broth that aside beautiful look guys it's so creamy so creamy and it's so hot I cannot eat when the food is steaming hot guys I'm not like Suzette she likes her food really hot delicious or what see guys the broth is thick that's how I wanted the broth it is perfect. Let's try the broth first. Mm. My goodness. Oh my gulai. It's so creamy. Let's try the chicken. It's creamy. It's cheesy. Let's try the dumpling. Oh my goodness, the dumpling is so good. Of course, the biscuit is just a little sweet. I forgot I'm recording. <laughs> I got carried away, guys. It's so good. So, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for always there to support my vlog. And magtatagalog ako, oh, Vicky, magtatagalog ako sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa akin, sa inyo, sa Pilipinas. So, uh, teka, mag-isip muna ako. Sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa inyo, sa akin dyan, sa Pilipinas, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga kapatid ko. Hoy, manood kayo. <laughs> So, but anyway, thank you guys so much. Thank you all for uh, the good comments and thank you for always commenting. I'll see you guys again later. Bye for now.